Welcome back to Art Glad It's Friday. Today we are making paper pianos that were inspired from 10 minutes of my 10 minutes of quality time. .com. Thanks for the inspiration. I had the best suggestion to use felt paper on our pianos. So we're going to do that. I purchased peel and stick felt at Michael's for I think $1.30 each and I'm just going to peel it and stick it so I don't have to worry about any glue. Great. First, you're going to take your piece of white paper, felt, whatever you've got, fold it in half. I am using felt so I'm putting the adhesive side out and then just cutting it right in half. Ta-da! Once you have your piano keys, you are going to stick them in the folder where you want them. I put mine on a file folder, again, just so I can have it in my lap. If I were to be road tripping and wanted to have this as something to occupy my time, that would be fun. Or if I'm just practicing at home, great activity to do. It's just nice to have lap packs or lap activities for the younger ones. Peel and stick. Now my felt is hanging over the side. Just going to cut that off. For the black keys, you're going to cut about two inches thick. Now, I'm going to take my ruler and just mark each note on the piano. Have the lines of the piano ready to go. Now, Notice that I put the piano keys up here, down here if you wanted to put important reminders. If you wanted to put a music staff down at the bottom, I would highly recommend that for people who are learning what the note names are to better read them on the piano. And now you are just going to cut your little black strips about, I was right, half an inch. About a half an inch thick. These are so fun. <gasps> I could stick them on my eyebrows or on my sideburns. So keep these adhesives. You always want to have peel and stick built in your back pocket in case you need to automatically make it into a costume. Next, you are just going to stick your felt on the keyboard. If you're able to watch Music Monday, you learned a little bit more about the keyboard. On a keyboard are black notes or accidentals, sharps, flats, whatever you want to call them, are in a certain place. Remember I said they're in a group of two and a group of three and there's a line that goes down between those notes. So we're going to start our keyboard with middle C. I say middle C because if I said middle, it's assumed that means there's notes in front of it and there's notes behind it. Middle C is in the middle of the piano and there's a lot of other notes outside of them. Let's try to go all the way up. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp. That's right.
Thanks again for tuning in. Next week, we will be reading Dancing Hands, How Teresa Carreño Played the Piano for President Lincoln. We hope to see you then. Have a wonderful weekend. See you soon.